slippery elm is known for its brown to reddish bark and it can reach a height of 60 to 80 feet. The Native Americans would peel the slimy red inner bark from the twigs and the branches and use it as a remedy for many conditions like fevers, wounds and sore throats. They found when the inner bark was mixed with water, it generated a sticky material known as mucilage, and this has therapeutic and soothing properties. The slippery elm bark was later picked up by American soldiers to heal gunshot wounds during the American Revolution. Slippery elm is a demulcent. This means it's capable of soothing the lining of the stomach and the intestines and reducing irritation. Demulcents are sometimes referred to as mucoprotective agents. Recent studies have shown the slippery elm can help to treat symptoms associated with inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis and irritable bowel syndrome. One small clinical study found a mixture of slippery elm bark enhanced bowel movements in patients with constipation predominant IBS. Another study found the slippery elm had an antioxidant effect in people with Crohn's disease. The slippery elm contains the mucilage and this is a sticky mixture of sugars that can't be broken down by the digestive tract. The mucilage coats the throat so it's no surprise that it's found commercially in many brands of throat lozenges. The slippery elm is antitussive. This means it's great for coughs and for symptoms of the upper respiratory tract, like bronchitis and asthma. A study examining the bark's use in people with laryngitis or throat inflammation and voice problems has shown potential soothing effects. Slippery elm is sometimes recommended for people who experience unexplained inflammation of the urinary tract, like with interstitial cystitis, which is painful bladder syndrome. The slippery elm powder is thought to soothe the lining of the urinary tract, therefore it can help to alleviate the painful, irritating symptoms. As a mild diuretic, it also helps to increase the flow of urine and eliminate waste from the body. Slippery elm can be helpful for treating occasional heartburn, also known as acid reflux. It's also considered a herbal remedy for gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD. This is a chronic disease that occurs when the stomach acid flows back into the esophagus and irritates the lining. The mucilage in the slippery elm coats the esophagus and it can help to prevent the irritation and the inflammation that occurs when the stomach acid flows up. The inner bark is dried and powdered. It's available in lozenges, tablets, a fine powder, for making teas and extracts, a coarse powder or for making a poultice. For tea, you can pour two cups of boiling water over two tablespoons of the powder and steep for a few minutes. To make a poultice for applying to the skin, mix the coarse powder with boiling water and let it cool, then apply the poultice to the affected area. Slippery elm is approved for over-the-counter use as a demulcent for soothing sore throats and mucous membranes. As it's mucilaginous, it can interfere with the absorption of medicines. Therefore, you should always talk to a doctor before taking this supplement. To learn about herbs, supplements and natural treatment plans, check out my website.